hello and welcome to the channel today in this video i'll show you how to design this model as a way to practice drawing in FreeCAD. so as you can see here we'll use these dimensions here to create this model in FreeCAD. so first of all here to create this model here we need to create a new document so click on this icon here and now we have a new document as you can see and next we need to switch to part design workbench so select this workbench here part design workbench and now we need to create a body and a new sketch for this first sketch here we'll select exit plane and in this sketch here we'll draw a sketch for this face here so here we come back and we select exit plane here if you like the content i have been producing please subscribe to the channel and if you want to donate to the channel you can do so accessing Koi-Fi site link to this page can be found on the description of this video thank you and now zoom out and go to sketch geometers these tools here and here select this line tool and now draw this draw this line and next this line here in this way and now select this arc tool click on this origin point and now in these two points and now click here in this horizontal line click in this point and this point here and next what we'll do here is to next here we'll set the tangent constraints here so escape and select this point here and now click in this constraint here as you can see now we have the tangent constraint here and next select these two points and click in this icon again and now as you can see we have three degrees of freedom so what we'll do next is to set the dimension of this sketch here so let's see here so here as you can see we have this horizontal dimension here between these center points we have here 125 we have a range of 65 for this arc here and 100 for this arc so we come back here and first here we select this horizontal distance tool select this point and this point here and here we change to 125 okay and now select this constraint here and here we'll set a range of 100 for this arc and for this arc here we'll set 65 okay and now as you can see this sketch is full constrained okay so close this sketch and now press home and go to the pet tool set smart to plane and here will change the length to here will set 90 millimeters so change here and enter so now as you can see we have this part here and what we'll do next next here we'll create these parts okay so here we select this face here and create a new sketch in this face and first of all here we need to extract this edge to, to get the center point of this arc here so select this external jump tool click in this edge here and as you can see now we have this center point here and now what we do we select this arc tool okay click draw this arc in this way and now select this line tool and draw this horizontal line and now we set these two points constant and now select this point here and this line and now this constraint here okay and next we'll constrain the demo the reds of this arc here so select this constraint here and here we'll set a resolve 45 for this arc here so click here and set 45 okay and what you'll do next next we'll clone this sketch here and you'll place it in this point here okay so now select this arc here this point and this line here and now this point and next select this point here and now click in this arrow and select this option here clone and now click in this point here so as you can see now we have these these error here so what we can do select these constraints here and delete 
okay or oh, we can select these two points here and delete and now as you can see okay and next select these two points here and set constant and this line here must be horizontal so select this constraint here okay and now this sketch is constraining it here and next select this point here and this point and set constant okay and as you can see this sketch is full constrained so now we can leave this sketch and next here go to the path tool and he also the length of 20 for this path here so change the dimension here to 20 and okay and now here we'll mirror these parts so we go to model and you select this separation here and now click in this icon here and what you do here here will change the plane to this plane here, axis plane. So click here and select axis plane and now click OK. And as you can see, now we have these parts. And next here we'll create this part here. So we come back here and we need to create a new sketch. For this sketch here, we'll select XY plane. OK. And here you can switch to section view and now we go to sketch uh, geometers and here we click in this arrow and what we do here select this tool here center the rectangle and now through this rectangle escape and delete this line here and now select this polling tool and now we draw sketch in this way okay and next here we'll set equal constraints so select these constraints here and now these two lines okay and now we'll set the smart constraint here for this line here so select this endpoint and this endpoint here and now this horizontal line okay and as you can see now we have this and next here we'll set the dimension of the sketch here so we go to the string page and first here we see this angle constraint here 150 degrees so here we'll select this constraint here and now these two lines and here we'll set 105 degrees okay and next here we'll set this distance so here we'll select this horizontal distance tool and now this point here and this point and we set 55 okay and and next here as you can see we have this dimension here so what we do we select this end point and this end point here and we set the dimension here okay and as you can see now we have this and we have two degrees of freedom so okay here we have to set the length of this line here so for this line here what you can do we can extra this edge okay and now delete these two points and set horizontal constraint okay and now as you can see we have one degree of freedom okay so here okay here we have this distance so what we'll do here here we have this line this line here is the center point of this uh, this part here so what you do here we select this point and this point here and now this horizontal distance tool and we'll set the dimension here to 85 okay 85 millimeters so now we'll leave the sketch and next here we go to the path tool and here we'll set the length of 10 millimeters so click OK so yes now we have this and what we'll do next next here we'll create these we'll create these parts here to create this part here what we do here we uh, create a new sketch in axis plane okay and what we'll do here 
we we'll switch to section view and select this external jump tool and here I'll extract this edge here to get this center point okay and now here we we'll select this rectangle tool and click in the center point and now through this rectangle okay and next here select this point and this arc here and select this constraint here okay and as you can see now we have this so now we have to constrain the length of this line here so you will set the length of 45 millimeters so select this horizontal distance tool and now this line here and set the distance here and now leave the sketch and go to the path tool set smart to plane and now change the link to here I'll change the link to 50 millimeters okay and now we have this and next here we'll create this arc so what you do here, here we select this top face and we create a new sketch. Okay, and and here first we extract this edge here and now select this arc tool. Click in this line here and now this point and this point here and we get this arc here. And now select this line tool and connect these two points. Okay, and now leave the sketch and go to the path tool. Okay, set reverse it, and here we can set a length of maybe 40 millimeters. It's okay. Okay, and next here we'll create these walls, these five walls. Okay, so what you do here, here we select this face and we create a new sketch. Okay, and here first we will extract this edge to get this center point here. And next here we will draw this cycle here. And now we draw the cycle and next here we will constrain the diameter of these cycles. So select this constraint here and for the cycle here we have a diameter of 12. Okay, and for this cycle here we will set a diameter of 10 millimeters so we set 10 okay now we have this and now let's hide these constraints here and what we'll do next next we'll clone this sketch here this cycle here so click escape and sorry go to model double click here select this cycle here and go to this clone option okay Select the cycle again, click in this option and OK and now click again and OK. And now select the smart constraint and select these two center points. And now this horizontal line and next these two center points and now this horizontal line. OK. And here will set horizontal constraint to these two points here and now we have three degrees of freedom so here we see this dimension here 110 for these center points so what we do here we select this vertical distance tool we select this point and this point here and we set the distance here to 110 okay and now we have this and now we have two degrees of freedom Okay, and now we have this dimension here, 245. So here we select this constraint here, this horizontal distance tool, and we select this point, and this point here, and we set the distance here to 245. And now we have one degree of freedom. So next here we'll set this distance, 25. So what we do here, here we select this external jump tool and extract this edge here and as you can see now we have these two points here so what we'll do select this horizontal distance tool select this point and this point here and now we can set the length of this distance to 25 okay and as you can see now this sketch is full constrained so 
leave the sketch and now select this pocket tool and here change the tab to throw goal and as you can see now we have these holes here so click ok and now press home okay and next select this edge here and select this filler tool here I'll set a range of 20 millimeters so change here and now click in this add button and we add these three edges and now click ok and we have this and next here we'll create this pocket and these two pockets so what we do here here we go to model and first here we'll we go to this first path, click in this arrow and now copy the sketch, right click on mouse and select copy and here we copy the sketch okay and now click in this icon to pass the sketch in this document and drag the sketch into this body Okay, and now spacebar to make this sketch visible and double click here and what we'll do here here in the sketch will change the range of these arcs here so as we can see here in this string we have 95 and here will be a range of 6 so we change here to 95 and here we set 6 okay and now leave the sketch and go select this pocket tool set smart to plane and here will set a length of okay here we have a thickness of five millimeters and we have this dimension here to this pad operation here so here we'll set and now we have this and next here we'll create pockets in these faces here so we go to the second pad and click in this arrow and we copy the sketch okay and now click in this icon to pass the sketch in this document and now we'll drag the sketch into this body here okay and now space bar to make this sketch visible and double click here and now we can change this sketch here so what we'll do here here we'll change the diameter of these we'll change the range of this arc here we'll change to 40 millimeters double click here and we change the dimension here and leave this sketch and now select this pocket tool set true goal and now smart to plane and as you can see we got this pocket so now click ok and as you can see now we have to here we'll make a fillet in this edge so we'll make a fillet of five millimeters okay so select this edge here and now control select this edge and now click in this fillet icon and change the radius to 5 and ok and as you can see now we have this fillet and we finished the design of this model so thank you for watching this video